Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back at Chris's house. What are we talking about today, Chris? Shoot, a bunch of things that we need to fix. <laughs> On both of our Jeeps. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna write everything down and show you guys what we need to get back on the trails. And before we continue with the video, go to Chris's Instagram. I'm gonna have it linked down below. Today is his birthday. Go wish him a happy birthday, even if it's tomorrow after the post date. Go wish him a happy birthday. Make sure to click his Instagram link down below. So we took like 20 minutes and came up with the whole list. So let's go over that list. We'll start off with Chris and then we'll go to my Jeep. Well, I'll start off with the trail ready stuff, all right guys? Okay. We did trail ready and then other, and that's like things he wants to do versus trail ready, we need it to get on the trail. Well, then to get on the road, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so, so let's go down the list. All right, so I'll start off with the least important, the fan. Yeah, fix the fan. So I gotta fix my electric fan. It's been giving me issues with the yeah. relay and a bunch of other things. A little bit overheating. A little bit, just like Actually, we'll go on to one of the other, because that's part of it too. Yeah. Which is the bottom one. Which is doing a coolant flush and the thermostat. Thermostat, yeah, that's definitely needed. Uh, we've had that issue since Chris bought it, but it hasn't super overheated, right? No, I mean, just once. Just once, yeah, it'll be fine. Hey, but my valves yeah. are still there, right? It's, it's, fine. it's fine. There's no smoke in the tailpipe. It's fine. It's, I mean, once, but <laughs> I fixed that. All right, second one on the show. Second one is the rear A arm. I, okay. Mine's all wallowed out. Yeah, so how did that happen? You, know you know, broke one already, broke, and then you know, this is the third one, right? Yeah, this so I, I, I think it wallowed out while the other one broke. So, all right, so what did you do recently that you added to the rear A arm and the other things? Two inch rear A arm spacer, yep, and then I added the two inch or two and a half inch, yeah, uh, two and a half inch, two and a half inch coil spacers, coil spacers, yeah. yes. And then to the front, front, you did the sway bars. I did the sway bar, uh, the JKS disc yeah. packs, quick discos, let's go, baby. Yeah. I already broke them. Yeah. But now that you added more lift, what's the third thing that you, on the list that you need? Oh, the third thing? Yeah. I need to do my front shocks. That's the fourth. Oh. <laughs> I had my front lower control arm. <laughs> yeah, the lower, <laughs> you need to do the front lower control arms. You recently went off-roading. Yeah, because bumps here is a thing, guys. Yeah, but it's real. It's, it's a real thing. I, yeah. I didn't believe Jonathan until I hit a little bump. And yeah. I started getting a little screwed. And the reason is because it has more lift, the axle shifts and it's not in the right angle. So we need that for sure. The front shock, you blew out. I blew out both of them this time. <laughs> but luckily we have the Fox from uh, Gladiator. Yeah. So we gotta put those in. And it's all the 2.0 yeah. Fox shocks. Oh, there, what happened to the oops? What the happened oops. There? We'll get there on the other, right? Cause <laughs> all it's right, not important. All right, let's, all right, let's move on to the other then. <laughs> Other. So, other, I do need the one ton steering just because my tie rod ends and the probably drag the, the drag link. Yeah. They're a little busted. When we already did the track bar from Trail Forge, so that's solid there. Yeah. So we just need the rest of the steering. And then since everybody's complaining, paint. Paint. Because <laughs> apparently I have too many scratches. So what are you going to do for the paint? Dude, you know me. I'm going to drive it through more bushes. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> you don't need a paint job. I don't need a no. paint job. The bushes do the work for me. Yeah, that's right. Shout out to Paul. What did Paul do for us? Dude, Paul hooked it up. Paul hooked it up, man. That's why we're adding the long arm front and rear kit. So, Chris, we have a long arm kit for his Jeep. This is, his is a budget build, so we got a good deal on them. We just need to make the mounts for the long arms. Uh, it should say Chris eBay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since you added the bigger tires, more lift, it, but it's still rubbing. So, that, that's where the hoops comes in. I need to cut my fenders. Yeah. You'll see the footage. Yeah, you need to cut them. And then, uh, ever since I got the Jeep, yeah. my steering wheel's been yeah. crooked. So, I want to get alignment. Uh, we'll do that once we do the one ton, though, because that goes hand in hand. Uh, why do it twice? Brake lines? Yeah, I want to do a brake line, so I want to do a braided brake lines. And a flush. And a flush. Yeah. Definitely a flush. It's probably never been changed. It's never been changed. On both actually. of ours. You have spring retainers from Iron Rock. Yeah, thanks to my boy Erwin. That's right, he hooked yeah, it yeah. up. We need to go off-roading with him again. He's been hitting me up and I've been saying, I'm sorry, you're working too early. <laughs> not only that, they're not ready. <laughs> the Jeeps aren't ready. And other than that, it was just a cooling flush. That we already talked about, out. yeah. So that's it. Chris needs to fix the fan, the rear A arm, front lower control arms, which is the long arm kit, front shocks, and then cut the fenders to be trail ready. He's probably honestly gonna send it as is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now that Chris has said all his things, let's move on to mine. Tell us about your Jeep. So my Jeep, obviously it's a Street Princess. So I don't take my Jeep off-roading. Reason why? Because there's a lot of parts that I was adding onto it. We're almost done though. So we'll go over that in a little bit. But to Wait, get it, hold on, guys. He donated a bunch of things to my Jeep. Yeah, that's, that's why right. his is. 
<laughs> street princess right now. Yeah, so we've been giving, yeah, pretty much. I've been giving Chris some of the parts, so. So to get a mall crawler ready, we need to add some light bars, some donks, some 22s. Dang, some rubber bands That's that? right, we gotta get a mall crawler ready, man. And then we gotta squat the rear. Oh. We forgot to add that on there. Are we doing a Cali squat? Cali squat, man, with some, with some 10 inch subs. Some 10s? Yeah, that's Dang. right. We gotta do a full detail inside and out and never off-road it, which I already do, except for the detail part. And then add some more stickers because mall crawler, right? Does that say metal militia? A metal whatever, man. Monster, whatever Damn. you put on there. We'll put a Kyle sticker on there. All, all right, right. But for that, real. That's a joke. That's for a real, joke. though. For that's real. That's a joke. So to get my Jeep trail ready, like to get it on the trail tomorrow, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, but we need to do the front axle swap. Again, shout out to Paul. He hooked it up with some axles. He did the JK Dana 44 swap, which is on the channel. You can check it out. He gave me his old axles, which were Dana 30 in the front and Dana 44A in the rear or HD, same thing. The front and rear came with 456 gears and the rear had a locker, the rear's truss as well. And you guys have seen that on the channel. We got the gears fixed, so the rear's in. The front axle, we haven't swapped it in because I needed to weld a bracket from Trailforge for the over the axle track bar, which is what we're gonna do soon. We're just gonna do it ourselves. They're not gonna be great welds, but we gotta practice. Hey, welding. what are you saying? I'm the best welder. Yeah, you're the best grinder, not welder. <laughs> <laughs> and then after we do that, we do have to do a front drive shaft swap. A custom one, right? Yeah, so I have to get it to length. Um, the issue right now is, since I might be going six and a half inch lift, I don't know what to do about that. I think I'll just get it to where I'm at right now, which is five and a half. Should be fine for six and a half. On the other hand, we do have a front drive shaft from Tom Woods, brand new. Uh, it was bought off of Iron Rock. 32.5 inches, which fits a stock V8 and maybe a two inch lift. So I'm gonna be selling that to someone local in SoCal. If you guys are interested, um, save you some money and that'll go towards me purchasing a new front drive shaft. Now on the other side of that, that's just to get a trail ready, get it on the road. Um, and that way we can actually go on some trails. But I do have a list of other things that I wanna do. The most important after the trail ready stuff is the gearbox. So for the gearboxes, there are red top and blue top. For what I read, the guy from red top went to blue top and that's what I'm gonna buy for that reason. Cause you know blue is the favorite color, blue, man. Blue, blue's Chris's. Actually, I should go red. It'll match my Jeep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, no, I'm, I'm let, those, go let those blue guys know. That's right. No, I wanna go blue so I can match with Chris on his theme, his <laughs> black and blue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, I'm gonna go blue because from what I've read, they're really good. These are not in order, but the gearbox is definitely after the trail ready stuff. I do want to change out the bumper. I really like the trail forge one that we did with Paul recently. I might just get the middle section and build off of that. I really like two bumpers. I know Detail has a really good bumper out there that a lot of people use, but personally, I'm not a fan of the sides of his bumper. Not saying that it's a bad bumper, a lot of people run it, a lot of people are happy with it, but just personal preference, I'm gonna do my own like tube sides. After that, I'm gonna build some custom rock sliders with my friend that we might end up putting on the website for you guys. Depends on like the cost of everything, material and all that, and labor for my friend. So shout out to Rock Tricks. You guys know that they sponsored our wheels. Shout out to them. I have bought five uh, wheels from them and the fifth one i haven't installed a tire on it so i don't have a full size spare so we'll end up doing that as well that way i can have a full size spare in the jeep when off-roading it's not needed right now since i only go mall crawling so that's something we'll do in the future uh aside from that chris put tight in the bolts not a bad idea guys we're only human we're only human errors we have there's, i don't think there's anything loose but it's good to check them up you do want to check your bolts uh after going off-roading probably like after every couple trips so something we need to do yeah i've been doing recently yeah. and i do go off-roading locally here on the little trails up here which are fire roads but that's something that i don't post because it's not interesting i do want to get the floor mats the ones that go on the edges so if you step in the jeep none of the dirt gets on the carpet only on the floor mats and i can just take them out wash them out oh like the weather tech yeah weather tech exactly oh i got the rear i got the hatch Dude, so I need show the us the rear <laughs> <laughs> no i can't show you right now i do want to do more engine mods which includes the floor intake that brings the air filter up, get some cooler air to the engine. The reason I wanna do that is because I wanna do injectors as well, get a little bit more power out of it, uh, mostly miles per gallon. Uh, I don't think I'll get that much power out Fingers of it. Fingers crossed on MPGs. Yeah. And then on the 4.0s, a big issue is heat soak. And it's happened to me before where the Jeep wouldn't turn on. That's because the fuel gets hot and it doesn't uh, ignite. 
something like that. So we're gonna add some heat shields as well. Case suspension fab sells the kit, so I'll probably pick it up from him. Talking about the whole fuel system, I do wanna replace the fuel pump and the fuel filter just so that I don't have any issues down the line. My Jeep has 216,000 miles, so something that needs to be replaced. With bigger tires, and you'll notice it if you go from like 31s to 33s, the braking definitely needs upgrades. So one of the things that I do want to do is add EBC brakes, the yellow stuff, I believe it is, the third one on the chart. That way it brakes pretty good with the bigger tires. Chris, have you experienced that? Oh yeah, definitely. So you're at 33s now, right? Oh, 33s. And you, you notice it, right? That's why I said I need some better brake lines. Yeah, you definitely feel it. Probably a brake booster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do need the extended brake lines as well. I What I did for my Jeep currently is I bent the tabs to give me more space and we tested it, we drooped it, and it doesn't get super tight. So as is right now, it's okay, but since we are going six and a half inch lift, you definitely want to extend the brake lines. So we are going to install some rear long arms that I found on Craigslist. I got a super great deal on those, and it beats Iron Rock's $1,500 set. Um, I am going to run the Iron Rock A-arm, and then the Rusty's on the lower control arms. It came with the mounts and everything. The guy that sold them to me actually spoke to Iron Rock and asked if the setup is okay to run. And they said yes, but it does limit the travel about two inches, which is, you know, not a big deal. So, yeah. Damn, boys, did you hear that? Two inches is okay? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we're fine with uh, two inches, man. So aside from that, the reason why we're doing the rear long arm is because we have six and a half inch springs from Iron Rock. Chew, he's yeah, gonna be a top one over right. here. Look at yeah. this guy. I we mean, he is six foot something. Yeah, I am six foot. And I got the shocks for the springs as well. So that's pretty dope. We're pretty much set up to go six and a half inch aside from the brake lines. So we're getting those. close. You don't need those. Yeah, I don't need those, yeah. Aside from that, I have not extended my bumps stops but we'll do that once we test out the jeep and see what how much of a space are we going to add another big thing that i want to do is a durango alternator and that's because it gives you more amps which is better for running accessories like 10 inch subs i'm not really going to put a 10 inch sub in there but he's going to put an eight guys yeah an eight inch yeah <laughs> and since i have the winch as well i do want that that power and as for the long arms and the springs, we're not gonna install it yet. I wanna get the Jeep Trail ready and test out the Jeep how it is. That way you guys know how it does with my setup currently. And then after that, we're gonna install the taller springs and the rear long arms because I wanna see if it actually makes a difference. But first we gotta get a couple trails in with my Jeep as is once we replace the axle and the front drive shaft. My front drive shaft currently is on Chris's Jeep. That's why I don't have four wheel drive, but it's fine, we'll get one soon. And another big thing that I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently is because I've been working a lot more. I work for two companies, I'm editing videos. And on YouTube, I mean, I don't get paid much. That's why I have to work for these companies. I probably get like, five to ten dollars a video which takes parts that are expensive plus hours of recording and editing just to get five ten dollars out of it i'm probably making like 50 cents an hour so i'm not making much on youtube so if you guys want to support the channel make sure to hit the like and subscribe button that definitely helps uh get the videos out to more people and also make sure to visit the website right now we are giving away some tail lights. So if you pick something off the website, $1 is one entry into the giveaway. We're doing these tail lights right here. I think these are pretty sick. So I figured that we should give them away. And I also have some stickers on the website. If you guys don't want to spend a lot of money, the $3, I think like five total with shipping. And I do send two of them in there. So if you guys want to support the channel, that's a way to do it. We're definitely going to put up some new products on the website soon. I already got them in. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and the support. Peace. See you guys on the next one.